Yorin Bio, and what we do is electricity from plants. Electricity from plants? Power plants, you mean? Electricity from plants photosynthesis. But how can you draw electricity from plants? Mm -hmm. uh, well, actually plants, as we know, they make the photosynthesis process, they generate substances that they eat. But there is a part of these substances that they don't eat. And they naturally expel them through the roots. So what we do is to break them with microorganisms. And in that process, they, they basically expel electrons. And what we do is to catch them, uh, to trap them and create a, a cycle. And with that, we have a current, an electrical current. Not a big current, I think. It's not a huge one. Okay. <laughs> But what, what, what will it offer? In the first place, we are creating panels that are one by one meter panel that you can place below the surface of a, of a grass, your garden, a park, and it will generate around one watt per square meter. So, uh, I mean, with a, a number of, of 300 panels, which, uh, which is uh, 30 by 10 meters of, of a garden, uh, you could power up a whole house. And, and I mean, the, the first goal actually with these panels is to power up uh, lightning in streets and parks and uh, the sensor industry okay. for IoT and smart cities as well as agriculture. It is for you. <laughs> it is for you. How did you come up with the idea, you know? What, was there some uh, fundamental research you were working on here at the university? Uh, actually, no. Uh, it, it was actually a study that came out from, well, first from the idea, could we use the leaf of a plant as a solar panel? The short answer was no. But we basically looked for ways in which that could be obtained. We looked for uh, water treatment technologies all around the world, from NASA to other investigation centers. And we realized that we could merge our own technological branch with that. Yeah. And, and create, well, basically a biological battery able to obtain energy from the organic substances uh, found uh, in the roots of the plant. The roots uh, naturally expel substances and we take them. So those are substances that, it, that the plant mm, doesn't actually need any longer. So uh, the thing is that we indeed use electrodes to take the electrons but uh, the magic happens with the microorganisms inside. Okay. I mean, the microorganisms eat these substances and they expel the electrons. And yep. then it's, it's pretty straightforward because it's, it's very similar to a chemical battery, although the, the reduction and the oxidation doesn't actually happen in electrodes, which means that it, it's an immortal battery, it doesn't waste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, any difference in sorts of plants you know what plants are better than other plants for you know well, drawing, drawing electricity well basically the ones that produce more water are the plants that actually produce more energy because they okay. produce more organic substances the ones that like the cacti the ones that actually um, consume less water uh, are the ones that that produce less energy uh, we after all, we just use normal grass, a very standard one, uh, just that, so that we standardize the process and it can be actually applied anywhere around the world. Okay, you're very positive about you know, the, the, the applications and the possibilities of this product. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we are actually seeing it already. I mean, we, we already have these biological batteries. The cool thing is that we don't actually compete against solar panels because solar panels are very efficient, mm. but only when you find sun. But this technology is actually competing in another line, in another league. It actually produces energy in a constant way during day and night. Doesn't matter if it's snowing or raining, it will produce the same amount of energy. Mm. So. This competitive advantage is what gives us the opportunity to actually be placed in the market, apart from actually being 100% green. Yeah, actually it has been picked up pretty well. I mean, in the industry, in the energy industry, uh, we've been working with Repsol, we, uh, Endesa, for example, they are distributors of yep. ours here in Spain. And apart from that, even the European Union uh, selected us as the top um, company of the mm, 50 most innovative companies of Europe this year. And they actually supported us with, with a project of 1.8 million euros. Yep. Uh, and, you know, their support has actually been huge in, in the last yep. expo of Energies of the Future, which took place in Kazakhstan. We were selected by the government to, to represent Spain there, yeah. and it was amazing. And you have products? 
And I have products. Yeah, okay, show them. Okay, so first of all, just a second, we've got um, one of the products. Uh, the main product, which is a beer panel, it will be launched in two years. So okay. meanwhile, we've finished with the development of these panels, uh, ready for production. Uh, we are creating other um, smaller products just to create two things. A, um, a cash flow for the research and development of our technology itself and a global consciousness towards actually placing the real technology in cities and agriculture. So the first thing was to actually place it in education. Yeah. and creating a better education. I mean, something that can be applied in a very multidisciplinary way in chemistry, physics, uh, biology and technology uh, and applying the same concepts that we already do in class, but creating biological batteries in test tubes yep. that um, can actually allow you to power up LEDs and things like that. So here we have a complete kit to create biological batteries here. In, in a test tube. So once you've got like eight test tubes here, you will, uh, well, you will have biological batteries connected. Here you can create your own uh, circuitry so that you can power up LEDs and things like that, different electrodes so you can try which ones work better. And apart from that, we even got our own, well, just one second, our own, okay soils which is very well they are substrates with the microorganisms already inside this box is already available this is available for students uh, yeah can absolutely be obtained through, yeah. Your, uh, through your website i think uh yeah well uh, actually right now we are working with distributors who actually sell these boxes but anyway if you're interested just contact us in in our okay. website yeah. and indeed it will be available there in in some weeks <laughs> yeah and there is another yeah, product is, I see, yeah, bio we, class. Uh, the year before launching the bio panel, we also want to offer other kinds of products so that you can see them even in, in hotels or restaurants or coffee shops. And this is a plant pot that, well, it's, it's brought in a really cool box. <laughs> yeah, and see. this is this is a plant pot that actually can provide you with a, um, a, um, a access to the configuration of your Wi-Fi so that basically once you um, approach your phone close to the port you can have a Wi-Fi access. It's not actually a router, it's a, a, it's a um, access point so that you can have one of these in each table of a coffee shop. Uh, you just approach your phone, it unlocks the Wi-Fi and you just go inside. I mean, it's it's pretty straightforward and it's also created to raise global consciousness. The plant itself is used to power up the lightning of the whole plant and, well, that's that's another, another application. If we're talking about these products, they are basically available for anyone. But uh, the thing is that the technology itself has the potential to actually be very, very cheap. Uh, I mean, after all, it actually just requires graphite and, and carbon-based substances that are really easy to obtain. They are very abundant and very cheap as well. So with great volumes, and talking about the bio panel, it will be basically available for, for anyone. Can it be competitive with solar cells and solar panels? I mean, the cool thing, talking about the, solar pa the, the bio panel, is that um, it doesn't only um, obtain energy, it also uh, generates, uh, I mean, saves water in the process. I mean, it filters water and apart from that, it generates a small amount of water in the whole process because it, it generates hydrogen and it combines with the oxygen outside and it generates an extra amount of water. So it, it, with that whole process, we basically have a panel which produces energy and at the same time, saves tons of water, which in yeah. a lot of countries, that's very important. So basically the, um, the um, the panel has two versions. The first version is going to produce one watt per square meter. The second one is going to produce three watts per square meter. And that version is going to be competitive. I mean, yeah. that version, counting the two advantages, the energy and the water uh, advantage, uh, it, will, it will have a return of the investment in 20 years, more or less. Okay. Uh, right now, solar panels in Northern Europe, they have a return of the investment in, in more or less the same time. Yeah. Of course, if we talk about countries like California, the, the return of the investment is in 10 years, more or less, yeah. because 
They're small sun, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two or three years from now, what can we expect from Bayer? Yeah, so basically in two to three years, um, what we'll have uh, are the panels. They will be used for uh, smart cities from uh, to, to agriculture. So we will see them in the sensor industry, uh, in IoT, and we will even see them in lightning, in streets and, and parks. We have a lot of demand of these products specifically to be placed in a lot of streets uh, from city halls all around the world. So fortunately, we will see them there in, in, in two years' time. So in three years, we will start having this, this energy change. Okay, so more power to the plants. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for your time and explanation. Thank you.